This was a ranking that I actually didn't know was a thing. Okay, so I thought this was kind of cool. So SHIB has been ranked fourth in market sentiment by a, uh, a platform out there that, that I haven't really looked at before. I thought, thought this was pretty cool. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so incentivize weekly ranking of the top five crypto by sentiment. SHIB ranks fourth with a score of 46 and an attention buzz of 16%. I'm like, all right, cool. There you go. So uh, came in fourth. Um, still let's see. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So number one was BitTorrent, uh, BTT. Uh, number two with a ranking of 71 with an attention buzz of 121%. Uh, look at this. Rap Bitcoin had a sentiment score of 63 with an attention buzz of negative 13. Interesting. Uh, Kronos had an, a sentiment score of 58 with an attention buzz of 7. Okay. And SHIB is a 46 with attention buzz, uh, yeah, with attention buzz of 16%, and then OKB. So Kronos outscoring us by, what, uh, 12 there, uh, but yet we have more of an attention buzz. Don't really know. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, it's interesting. Okay. So is it, it, they are a data provider that analyzes structured and unstructured data from social media, news, blogs, and captures and makes sense of investment signals using its mature AI platform. So coming in first, we already wrapped all these up. Okay, uh, so there you go. It's good to know, right? All right, let's take a look at where SHIB is right here, right now. As of recording this video, uh, overall market capitalization is 9.38, down 0.5. Bitcoin, Ethereum doing their usual thing right here. And uh, SHIB is right there where you kind of expect it to be, kind of trending in that, in that nice 1.0 trading pattern. Uh, where it has been, let me show you this real quickly, for the last, uh, you know, about uh, 21st, about six days. You can see right here, this is a fairly, it looks kind of volatile, a lot going on, really not. If you kind of look at this, um, you know, that was 105.4, we spiked all the way up to 1136. That looks like a massive spike. It was just like, boom, moved up and moved back down. And then we moved back down, it looked like, oh, that's a big drop. No, it just moved back down right below that 1.0 range. And now it's consolidated really nicely. SHIB does this all the time, this consolidation pattern, right? We do this all the time. Consolidation means that kind of sideways building consensus, that sideways consolidation. Consolidation is a good thing. Okay, so that's where we're at with SHIB. I fully expect us to kind of be here for a little bit. Uh, absolutely for this next week or so, I think that that's where we're going to stay. Um, I think there's a, not a lot of real movement in the overall market. The fear and green index fell from a 12 to a 10, so we still got a lot of social fear out there. Again, not hugely surprising. The, uh, the stock market uh, basically was flat anyway as well, kind of in its, in its closing where it ended the day, 88.51. So I fully expect this to kind of continue. We'll see how the overall uh, stock markets look in the next 24 hours or so. But I fully expect us to kind of stay in this range um, for the time being. Now, here's what I would say. There's a little bit of a caveat here. If you look at this number, the seven-day percentage, SHIB actually just moved up th from 37 to 38. SHIB is... Um, been moving on its own as an outlier to the overall market conditions. Look at this. It's right here. Compound, Sandbox, and SHIB are the top three movers. Polygon right there with Polygon, et cetera. Out of the top 100, these are the top three or four movers and their percentage by seven day move. So it's way vastly outperforming like uh, Ethereum, things of that nature. So if you look at kind of like Ethereum in the last seven days, you can see that it's only been up 7% and Bitcoin on only one and a half. So vastly outperforming that, that from a metric standpoint. So my point, SHIB could move on its own if we get some type of a catalyst or things like that, or we start to get some really good retail sentiment, retail investor sentiment coming back into the market. But right here, right now, I'm not necessarily expecting it this week, I'm rolling into a, a pretty major holiday weekend here in the United States. We have July 4th holiday and Independence Day holiday coming up this weekend. People are starting to kind of face that, you know, look at that and turn their attention. That's what I got for you. As always, have a good one. Go make some money. See you.